in my experience in working with organizations, what I have found is box three is extremely difficult. And box two is even more difficult. And let me explain why. Let's first talk about box three. Why is it so difficult for organizations to make investments in the future? The reason is quite simple. If you don't make investments in the future today, it doesn't hurt you today. It only hurts you in the future. Therefore, it's very easy for organizations to postpone such investments. Let me illustrate that with an example. Take a box three activity for an individual. Doing exercise is a box three activity. Because if you don't do exercise every day, it doesn't produce good health for you in the future. Now, why is it so difficult for, all, for individuals not to do exercise every day? The reason is quite simple. If you wake up one day morning, and you may say, well, I got all kinds of things to do today. I'm very busy. I got to check emails. I got meetings. So let me not do exercise today. If you don't do exercise today, it doesn't hurt your health today. It certainly helps, hurts it in the future. Therefore, it is very easy for you to postpone that investment, the daily investment in exercise. But when you actually stop to think about it, if you don't do exercise today, there is a decline in your health today. But the decline is so invisible, it is very easy for you to postpone. This is what happens in organizations as well. That's one of the main reasons they don't focus on box three. Now let's come to box two. Box two, selective forgetting, is even more difficult. Why? Because some of the assumptions get so deeply embedded in organizations. We no longer even question why we do things. These assumptions were good assumptions. That's why they started because they started 10 years ago or 15 years ago when the environment was very different. So the way you competed and the assumptions underlying your success get so deeply embedded. But when the environment changes, those assumptions are no longer valid, but they are so deeply embedded, you never question them anymore. They get into policy manuals, they get embedded in your systems, your structures, People forget why you do certain things and blindly follow. And that's why box two is extremely, extremely difficult. Let me give you a story to illustrate what I mean. This is an experiment psychologists ran using monkeys. They put four monkeys in a room and there was a tall ladder and at the top of the ladder, there were a bunch of bananas. So one of the monkeys, probably hungry one, started to climb the ladder. And when it reached about two thirds of the ladder, there was an electric shock. So the monkey gave out a squeal and came right back. Then again, tried one more time, got the electric shock, came back. Tried one more time, got the electric shock, came back. Then the monkey never climbed that ladder. Then the other three monkeys also tried. They also got the electric shock. They all came down. So the four monkeys are now down. They took the electric shock out. There was no more electric shock on that ladder, but those four monkeys will never climb that ladder. Then this experimenter did something else, which is interesting. They took one of those four monkeys out and introduced a new monkey. And the new monkey didn't know what was happening before, so it started to climb that ladder. When it started to climb the ladder, all the other three monkeys tried to push this one down. And it tried again. Then the monkeys pushed them down. After a few attempts like that, the new monkey realized there is something problematic if you climb that ladder. So it stopped doing it. Then the experimenter, one by one, changed the other three old monkeys and introduced new monkeys. And now, suddenly, the four are new monkeys, and there is no electric shock in that ladder, 
but they just simply accepted that climbing that ladder is a bad thing without knowing why it is a bad thing. This is what happens in organizations. Precedents, which started when the industry was different, has now become policy mandates, has become deeply em embedded in the systems and structures and cultures people don't even question.